Howdy, everybody. Welcome into the 5 to 9 Hustle. This is Eric. And uh, lately, I've been tackling the dreaded recommended item specifics. Uh, I took care many moons ago of the required ones. And then after required item specifics, eBay came out with the recommended ones. And honestly, you don't really have to do them, but it's just annoying the way they have that there. And it's just like, you have 400 of these things to do. Um, so it is a good idea to add the ones that you can. Item specifics are used primarily in narrowing down searches. So here I've done a search, just bright plaid flannel shirt. Um, and these are my results. And, you know, if I know I want a medium one or a large one, I can click on that. If I know I want a red one, I can click on that. If I only wear on cotton, I can select that. And that'll refresh my search results, right? Um, I think that's called faceted browsing to, to date myself with some web terminology. But here we have theme, features, occasion, you know, fit. I like the relax fit, whatever it is. All of this stuff comes from item specifics, even the brand. Uh, some of them are quite lame, and that's where I've seen a lot of complaining. Um, like theme, a flannel shirt doesn't have a theme, you know. I know character is one that shows up on like all clothing items and most of them don't have a character. So what do you do with that? I'm going to go over um, how to address these right now. So I, I do find that some of my older listings have a lot more recommended item specifics than my newer ones. Um, and I think it was just a previous listing workflow where it just wasn't asking for as many. Uh, but if you go to your active listings, um, or if you click on that notification in your seller hub, it'll pull up all your listings with recommended item specifics. And then you can just hit add recommended. And it pops up in a window like this. Let's see if I can make this a little bit smaller so we can see. And then if you need to reference your listing, you can just click this little button up here and it'll pop it out in, uh, the actual listing in, a, in another tab. But you see, recommended, and we've already got some filled out. The color style is not um, filled out. If you're selling men's shirts, you should learn the different uh, color styles. I would say the two most popular would be the button down, where it's got buttons on it, or a spread color. Uh, there are several other ones uh, you mostly find on fancy shirts. Um, spread color is pretty standard. I already have the cuff style. You basically have standard and French. Uh, I think the standard cuff is also called a barrel cuff. Now, this is what throws people. Character, there's no character, it's a shirt. Theme, there's no theme, it's a shirt. Uh, and what I see is a lot of people filling those out anyway. Putting NA or putting, just coming up with a theme. Um, that no one's going to search for your random theme that you made up for a blue dress shirt, right? So you actually don't have to fill them all in. They're recommended, but if it doesn't apply, there's no reason to fill it in. This closes with buttons, so I'll add that one. The next size on this, um, I just have XL, so I don't have a dress size next size, uh, next dress shirt next size. So I'm going to leave that blank. Accents. These would be things like the pony logo on a Ralph Lauren shirt or maybe pearl snaps or some kind of stud or embroidery or something. You know, fabric wash, I pretty much ignore unless it's jeans. And then features. This shirt doesn't have any features. It has buttons. Uh, I don't even think it has a pocket. Some people put the pocket as a feature. But again, I think they're just trying to fill all these out when you don't have to. Uh, one I do want to go over that I think trips up a lot of people is fabric type. Okay, there's all these different options in here. Um, and certainly some of them are obvious like denim and flannel, fleece, uh, gingham. I always think of that as a pattern, but I guess it could be a fabric type too. So here's the deal. There are essentially two basic types of fabrics, knit and woven. You see we have knit here and then woven will be at the bottom. Um, and the two, the two different types, it's based on how, how the, the fabric is made. One uses loops and one doesn't or something. Google it, 
knit versus woven. I'll, I'll drop a link to a pretty informative article. But here's the thing to know. Um, any, any fabric that stretches both ways, okay, like this polo shirt, I can stretch it that way, I can stretch it that way. That's a knit fabric. Pretty much all polo shirts are knit fabrics. T-shirts are knit fabrics, but then of course you can get more specific. Um, T-shirts are a jersey knit, so you can say jersey. All your dress shirts, like what I have here, for the most part, are going to be a woven fabric. A woven fabric might have a tiny bit of give in one direction and basically none in the other. Um, that's really all you need to know for fabrics, knit and woven. Um, chambray is one that I list often. Denim is pretty obvious. Uh, jacquard is used in neckties a lot. It's good to, to research and kind of know these things, um, but fabric type, knit and woven are the basics. And just remember things like sweatshirts, t-shirts, polo shirts are gonna be knit, dress shirts, suit pants, uh, they're gonna be woven. That's really all you need to know. Uh, this is not vintage and the neckline is collared because it has a collar. Now, here's the important thing. Don't skip this step. So I have ones I didn't fill out. So this is still gonna show up as add these six item specifics that are recommended or whatever. But you can check this box right here, you see? Don't remind me about these recommendations again. So I added some additional ones. It's good, eBay likes that. I'm not making up just random junk to put in the ones that don't apply. And this will be removed from my add these items recommended item specifics queue or you know to-do list and that's it we're done uh, so I just wanted to, to come in with a brief how-to on that because I've been um, been doing some listing this morning and listings that I'm looking at to research pricing and stuff on my listings I'm seeing people you know fill in character add a theme put weird things as features that aren't really features um, you know, like a this this shirt has a button. It's not it's not a feature. It's standard, right? Um, yes, yeah, so you don't have to to make stuff up to fill all those in. Just make sure you check that box. Don't remind me about these again after you filled in the ones that you can fill in.